Welcome back to Bean Gaming. We're going to take a look at Circus Tower Defense. Let's take a look at the About section first, and then we'll hop in game and take a look at all the brand new things that they came up with, because there is a pretty significant update the other day. So you can go ahead and read this description. There's a handful of codes that this game has already, so that's pretty nice. And they do have an exclusive egg. There's a new Endless Mode. And if you beat that Endless Mode, you can get a new Mythical Unit. I don't have that. I'm going to try and get that today. We'll see about that. But if you take a look down over here between these two hearts, this is a game made by the amazing Digital Circus by Glitch. And so if you hop on over to YouTube and you type in the Amazing Digital Circus, they only have one video out right now. It's about 25, a little more than 25 minutes long. And I'm going to say it's worth your time to watch if you're going to play the Roblox game Circus Tower Defense. Because they have all the characters in Circus Tower Defense from this actual video. It's very similar to the same idea as Toilet Tower Defense. I'm sure everyone has seen by now, it's been out for a while, and it's awesome, the YouTube videos by Mr. Boom for Skibbity Toilets. He does an absolutely amazing job there, so if you haven't checked that out, make sure you go check it out. But it's kind of the same idea for this game. And they even give credit down over here. It says, a fan-made a fan -made game inspired by the amazing Digital Circus by Glitch and the game Toilet Tower Defense. So it is based off that. Now, my hypothesis is that probably one of the players or one of the friends of the people that make Toilet Tower Defense ended up branching off and making this game. It's just a theory, though. And the reason I say that is because there's a handful of assets that this game uses that's the same thing, or layouts and interfaces in this game that's the exact same, identical to Toilet Tower Defense. But they're actually missing crediting a different game in here, and I'm going to show you which game when we hop on in. Okay, we just hopped in game here, and you can take a look. I really like the layout. We are under a big circus tent, and that's really cool. If you take a look around, there's the office, there's the hallway, there's the endless void. That's brand new. There's the cave, there's the dark room, and then season one eggs. There's a lot going on here. So there's a lucky block. Now, if you come over to the lucky block, you actually don't have to go right up to it. The timer will still keep counting down. Every 15 minutes, are these people in the way? Yeah, they're in the way. They're like... Getting, you're not getting a rescue. You don't got to go up against the wall. But if you can kind of read this, it says there's a chance for a duck tower. And the unfortunate thing is that you actually have to be in the lobby in order to claim this. You can't go in a game, come back, and the timer's still going. No, the timer resets when you go into a game. I wish they were to change that. Over here, if you're brand new, this isn't a bad unit to start with, this Golden Pomni. And so she's one of the main, she's probably the main character, or at least one of the top two characters in the Amazing Digital Circus. And so for 29 Robux, it's actually not bad. Plus you get a thousand coins. So I would say if you have the Robux around, then a pretty good idea to get that. If you're one of those people that want an OP unit right away, you can come on over here. It says Super Sale, but I'm not so sure that it's, it, this might stay, this the, the price of 499 Robux. I'm not really sure. But anyway, this is the Monster Queen, and it is extremely overpowered. Plus, you get 1,000 gems. So I did end up getting the Monster Queen, and we're going to showcase her in a little bit when we get into a game. But if you do have the 500 Robux, then it's definitely a unit worth getting. This will carry once you place one of them down. It's insane how powerful it is. What else do we have going on? They have a leaderboard over here. Kind of cool. They have that. And you can see how it's very similar to Toilet Tower Defense, and they did give credit for that. There's an AFK farm you can check out. And once again, there's the Lucky Block. I think if you don't get the Lucky Duck right away, then you get some kind of amount of coins, which I think it's 50 to start. Now, here's the other game that this game mimics. And I wish they were to give him credit. Does this look like any game that you've played before? Premium Egg, and then you have four towers here. And then you have, if you have all four towers by the end of the timer, do they have a timer going? I'm not sure they have a timer going. But eventually, 
Let's see, collect all four PMUs to get the secret ward. And you know what, I don't know, if you get all four of these, maybe you get the secret unit, the secret hero, or I should say tower right away. I'm not sure, because I don't have any of them. I haven't even got a, a premium egg yet. But I think it's very similar to the house, don't you? If you want, and especially look at the prices. If you want one of them, it's 150. Now they were going back and forth. This this was 1,000 Robux for 10 of them, and then they changed it. And so I guess they're sticking with 1,250, and then for 50 premium eggs, it's about 40. Well, it is 4,900 Robux. So if you're at a one-to-one -one ratio here, then it's essentially 49 dollars for 50 of them, and the mythic is 0.25%. Uh, I just. I'm just not a fan of anything below 1%, especially when you have to pay money for it. So, I, man, I, I kind of hope that they change that. And then on top of it, the pricing here, it's... I wish that's something they would consider changing as well. I'm okay with the 500 Robux here. I think that's totally fine. I'm definitely fine with the 29 Robux here. Those are really good prices. Especially when you're trying to get more players to play your game. You want to make it lucrative for them to play. What's this over? Okay, we have the office. What is this area here? I haven't even checked this out. Oh, this is kind of cool. A little hangout area. All right, whatever. Let's get back to the summoning area. And of course, they did give credit to Toilet Tower Defense for the summoning area. And right now, they have up on the board, they have the pink thing. You're going to get like 5 million of those. They have the Worm, Doll, Girl, the Sun. The sun's pretty good. Sad Mask, and then the point one percent which is the lion so here's a few details that's different about this summoning area than toilet tower defense if you take a look here actually at the top it says pity resets when there is a new summon rotation so it's cool they have the pity on here i'm at zero percent because i didn't I, I didn't use any summons at all just yet but let's say that i have well, I can actually summon 10 right now, so I guess I might as well do that. And I have this one. I don't have the doll. I have this mask here. I, this is the worm. I have him. I don't have the sun, this doll, and this mythic here. Uh, definitely, you know, it's it's super hard to get the mythic. Maybe I can get the sun. I'll probably get the doll here. But we're going to go ahead and summon 10. Yeah, and get a bunch of doll girls. And that's fine. And let's close on out and see how the pity went up. But... Look how much time is left. 49 minutes. Once this 49 minutes is done, then this pity resets. So if you're someone that definitely wants the pity, the best way to go about doing that is, the fastest way, is to just go ahead and buy <laughs> and buy these coins here. But, I mean, that's 2,500 Robux, which actually isn't too bad considering, but it's still uh, roughly $25. The other way is to play a whole bunch of games, save up all of your coins, and then just go for it. I haven't done the math yet, so I don't know how much, but I'm thinking it's going to be about twenty-five to 30,000 coins. So if someone could check that for me, I would appreciate it, but that's relatively what it is. You could get some luck, you can pay for the luck, or you can win it by doing the daily rewards. Let's see, daily rewards, no, there's codes. Um, here's the daily rewards, and I do like how they have the timer on them. So if you are able to claim them, it does show up in the calendar. I believe it shows up right when you start. So you do get this tower at the end of seven days. So I think that's kind of cool. They give you some luck along the way. I haven't used my luck yet, but I do like how they have that. There's quests, and they usually have three quests to start. There's a weekly quest, and the timer... Let me see... Reward per daily quest. Okay, so they have these rewards here, which I think is nice. And I have to beat hard mode one time. And then they have the reward for the weekly. And you can see that I'm almost there. Take down 700 enemies. I think I can do that probably in one or two more games. And they also show the timer in which that's going to reset. So I do like the timers. That way you have a heads up. Now, the playtime gifts. Once again, does this look similar to another game that you may have played before? Just like the... Just like the Season 1 Premium Eggs over here. This is, in my opinion, identical to the house. So if you're going to use any part of another game's assets, then, you know, I probably should credit them. Because this is almost identical to what they have. We're going to go ahead and clam our Playtime Gifts here. And even the phrase Playtime Gifts, I mean, it's, it's identical to the house. But either way, what is different, though, is that I could leave the game... 
and come back an hour or two hours later and these check marks will still be there. So it's not like where you leave in the house and you come back a couple hours later and this playtime gifts completely resets. I believe you have a five minute window. They already have them up here. So I think that's kind of cool and you just got to pay careful attention. You want to make sure you get that premium egg. I still haven't got it yet, but it, it did reset somehow. So I'm not sure why it did that, but I'm still going to try and get that premium egg. So I have roughly a little bit over an hour, an hour and, and 16 minutes to get that. Another fun thing is that if you go to your settings, of course, there's the music and sound effects. But what I really like is this unit wiki here. If you click on it, it shows you every single unit, every single tower that's in the game. And you can put your mouse over it or cursor over it, and it shows you what level they are and what the damage cooldown, and even if it does AoE or if it's just a DPS tower. So that's really nice. I do have the Monster Queen, full AoE, and it actually she actually is a monster. We have the Void Host. Let's go take a look at the Void Host. Void Host is over here by Endless. Now you can beat Endless, which I believe is 100 waves, or you can buy him for 1,000 Robux. So that's kind of cool that they at least have that available to you in case you can't win on Endless. That's kind of nice that you have an opportunity to get that. The block opens in five minutes, and we're going to hop on in a game here. What should we do? Dark room, cave, hallway. Let's do... Oh boy, we should do... Okay, we'll pick one of these and then hop on in and see what we can get. See everyone in game. We're going to go ahead and try medium. The win reward is 200, but I do have the double reward, so it should be about 400, roughly. I, it seems like their money's a little bit off with the doubling, but we're going to go ahead and vote. And wave one, we're going to put down... Oh, look, see, they, they come out super fast. All right, we have these squares. Pretty cool design here. And they're only 50, so my Jester Girl, which is really Pomni plushy, she's going to be able to take all of them out. But look how fast they're coming in, and there's quite a bit of them. But the 100 is going to be able to take care of it. The first upgrade's 500, though. So that wave is cleared. Something that's interesting is that if you want to get a closer look at any of these enemies, you can hop on the track here to get a closer look. Oh, boing, boing, boing. And I'm getting a closer look here. And if I get a closer look, it's kind of like I'm bumping into them. That's kind of rude. Why are they bumping into me? Uh oh, he's getting a, he's getting away. Let me just let me bump a little bit here. Let me bump a little bit. Let me bump. You can put on auto skip if you want. I should put on auto skip. There we go. So another three hundred here. We can put down another Pomni. So she should be able to take these out. Hey, let me get a closer look. Oh look, kind of bumping into him. Oh, interesting. There we go. Squares should be no issue. I want to get down my moon, though, because moon is going to give me some money. Let's see. I'm trying to get a closer look here. Why are they bumping into me? Why are they bumping into me? Just trying to look closer here. That's all. He doesn't look so happy. 352. We need to get to 500. Although I can play some moon down, but moon only gives me... Uh, let me see if I can last one more wave. That way I can upgrade my jester girl one time. And then I'll be in a much better spot. So we're at 400. I need 99 more dollars now. Okay, here we go. A little bit less. I do have skips on. Wave cleared. There we go. All right. Highlight and upgrade. There. So now she's doing more damage, which is exactly what I need. She's doing 200. Very nice. Very nice. 1,000. Check out. Let's put the monster down. Monster does full AoE. There we go. What is Monster's first? Monster's first damage level. So level 1 is 500 damage. And Pomni Plushy is doing 400 damage per second. So we're just going to be sitting here. There we go. There's the 1500. The reason why I want to upgrade is because now I'm doing 1000 damage. And that's going to keep me safe for a little bit of time here. That way I can take a look at my moon and upgrade. One time upgrade twice. The moon has, I think, is it four or five upgrades? 
But look at the design on these enemies. I think they're super cool. They're not just generic. Like some games you play and you can tell they have the Roblox noob style design. And these don't. These are all custom. Every single one. Oh, the big stars. Big stars, a couple hits, and they are gone. Very nice, very nice. These green little stars here, the pins. It does have a lot of the house ideas in it as well. So now we have our Monster Queen is attacking twice per second, which means she's really doing 3,000 per second. And look at the range. I have her on a nice U-shaped track piece here. So if anything does kind of take a little bit of time to kill or we have a fast enemy coming by, she's going to get plenty of chances to work on it. And I have auto skip on now, and so every time that these enemies are gone, I can I kill them right away. Then these waves are start going quicker and quicker and quicker, which is really nice. So in the beginning, it might take a little bit of time, as you saw, but depending on the number of enemies that come out, if I can kill them rough, relatively quick, then these waves are going to start to advance. These holly dogs are gone. Oh, we're on wave 30. Yeah, this is the final wave. So I, I can't remember how difficult the boss is, but we're going to go ahead and upgrade a couple. Oh, that is the boss right there. Oh, we're done already? Victory! Nice. There we go. So what do you think of this game? I think it's pretty cool. I think it's something you should definitely play if you have time or checking out new games. Because it's in the early stages still. You know that they're going to be upgrading it and updating it and, and putting in some bug fixes here or there. But I think it's pretty fun. So if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Have a great day, and talk to you soon. Bye!